quick little porch chat. <laughs> I have been really busy this month. Um, I think the end of the month is going to be busy too. It's just been one of those things. We've had good weather, we've had bad weather, we even had uh, some snow a couple times. Not here at my house, but about 20 minutes away, other part of the county they had snow. Uh, we did get a lot of rain and we've had some very cold weather, which is uh, led me to have to turn on the heat again, just like in the middle of winter. Um, I think we might be over the hump now, though I believe our last frost date is the middle of May. I'm starting to pull plants out a little bit. If they've made it this far throughout the winter outside, they'll be fine. I'm replacing some things with other things and just moving stuff around. I would like to do direct sowing and I will be doing that early May tomatoes and uh, squash and things like that because it worked out so well last year. I am going to start some seeds and uh, we'll see how that goes, but I, I do like just throwing them direct in the ground. My friend the handyman uh, has told me that they have compost $15 a yard at the uh, dump nearby, so we're going to go pick some up I think and whenever he's available to do so in his trailer because he has a big garden too. He also uh, has all of his fruits and all of his vegetables and herbs and everything in these big refrigerators. So the only, my only concern with the, um, with the compost is there might be grass seeds and stuff like that in there, but we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, I get enough. I already have weeds in my vegetables. I'm already weeding stuff out anyway, so I think it'll be worth it. I want to fill up that refrigerator I got. Uh, with compost and kind of top off some of my um, my grow bags. I don't know if you can hear it, but the creek is going wild behind me and that has been just a beautiful, wonderful thing, all that water. This is second year in a row where the creek has flowed even if it's not raining. So that's great for the, the land, it's great for the state, it's great for everything. On the other hand, all the weeds and the bushes are coming up and I've been working on that pretty much I don't want to say full time, but a couple hours here and a couple hours there. I want to clear out this one area down below where um, there's been a lot of bushes. And since I saw that wild pig a few weeks ago, I don't want any place for it to hide. So I have a small chainsaw. I've been cutting stuff down. I have some loppers. And I've been cutting um, blackberries and all sorts of stuff. I have a half an acre. I don't know if I'll be able to do all of it myself, but if I get out there every day with the weed whacker or whatever, whatever I have, I, I think I can get a lot accomplished by myself. I'm trying to get out a little bit more. I've gotten a little squirrely in the house <laughs> with the weather and all that. I'm starting to think I need to get out of the house a little bit and do some activities and visit some friends and get some of that stuff done. So I've signed up for various things, um, different events I'd like to go to. I did do a craft fair. I used to do craft fairs years and years and years ago and I still had many of the stuff I made, mainly beaded jewelry real simple. So I went to this craft fair up North County and it was the first time they've done a craft fair there and I actually did well enough that I'm going to do it again. So it was fun. There was I learned a lot of things about who my customers are right now and what they're looking for. So I'm going to make adjustments. I make little bracelets, little beaded bracelets and beaded necklaces and I, I just had a chance to see what people were looking at and what they were interested in. So that that was that was fun. It was a great first time. I started cooking from scratch. I think I mentioned that in an earlier video and I'm going to do a separate video on that but it is very satisfying. I'm having some great meals but it's a heck of a lot of work. <laughs> heck of a lot of work. Um, I have more respect than ever for all the women who've gone before us who had to do this not by choice. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But I, I will say in that work there is a lot of variety in what I'm eating nowadays and I'm enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> I've been reading some good books, some not so good books, so I'm going to start doing book reviews from time to time. Things that really, I think really people might enjoy. I like all different sorts of books and I have a couple lined up. Uh, one kind of sentimental historical fiction book which was very good and uh, I have some psychological thrillers I've enjoyed and another memoir, just a, um, just kind of a mix. I do read a lot of books and not all of them have been very good. <laughs> That's the chance you take. But if something came up that, that I thought was good, I'm going to let you guys know about it. So if you're looking for books or you happen to run across that, you can give it a try too. <laughs> so that's uh, 
that's the update here right now all is well spring is closer than ever it might already be here in many respects I'm not entirely convinced but we do have a week here that's good a week there that's good um, I'm hoping those weeks just don't stop <laughs> and uh, I hope you're having a good spring and I hope everything is going well and uh, I appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for watching